before getting into some of the specifics of the things you're working on, like, like bird's eye view, what are, what are you doing at your startup? What is the startup? Are you, are you guys trying to tweak psychedelic molecules in order to create better pharmaceutical drugs? Like, what would you say you do in terms of what the company is trying to achieve? Oh, that is a great question. And, and I, I need to start by saying that um, it changes, right? Um, when we first raised Series A money for Camtech, I don't know how many years ago, um, you could basically raise money by spelling the word psychedelic yeah. uh, in your pitch deck. <laughs> um, and so the, the race there was um, to get into drug development as quickly as possible and as advanced into drug development um, as quickly as possible. Uh, that climate has changed significantly. It's very hard to raise money for psychedelic science, um, especially, uh, I think, clinical trials. And I think that's largely because everybody's kind of standing around waiting to see what happens to Compass Pathways and psilocybin and whether psychedelic drugs will actually become a thing. There's this big question as to uh, how you would commercialize it or get it to the patient and everybody's sort of yeah. waiting. So so basically Compass Pathways, that would be one of the major companies out there <clears throat> trying to turn a psychedelic like psilocybin into a biopharmaceutical entity that they can ultimately make money from. And you're saying that basically the, the, in, the investor environment out there has shifted. People are waiting to see if <laughs> Compass will actually be successful and therefore whether psychedelics will be a fruitful investment in general. And it might turn out that way, it might not turn out that way. So, so, so the environment, the business environment has changed. It's not, uh, it's not as uh, exuberant as it was maybe a couple of years ago. Yes, I, I think that's fair to say. Um, I have a, a, a good friend and colleague who said that, um, you know, good markets bring the future closer. Um, and so uh, when there was a lot of money in the psychedelic space, um, you know, the future became a lot closer and everyone focused on and rushed towards these clinical trials. Um, you know, the, the biotech market has certainly contracted a bit um, and it's a, a slightly tougher time now, I would say. Um, and as a result, um, you know, I think that there's a lot less enthusiasm for racing towards risky clinical trials before somebody does the de-risking work for us. 